this adventure with the new. The island trader delivers our batteries. We leave Lord Howe Island. Lord Howe Island, please. And some friends come to play. I'm just scanning to hear whether the island trader vessel is going to come through the North Passage, which is literally just there, past our boat, and coming on tonight. Because it's really ordinary conditions. It's 25 knots on the inside of the lagoon, and it's was it two or three metres swell on the outside, or four metres swell on the outside. How long have you been excited? I've been really strong on that. This is the most exciting thing that's happened to Jamie in three days. And our batteries are on that boat. Update, please. Coming in, it's spotlight time, and they're making the turn. And it's a hard right turn for a boat that size. Not to hit the rocks. I think they could just throw our batteries off as they go past. <laughs> Save us going in to get them. Don't know if you can tell, the boat is moving a lot. And we're moored. Morning, Denise. Good morning, darling. Pretty sunrise. Beautiful, isn't it? Best one we've had since we've been here, I think. Uh, staying in bed, are we? It is 6 a.m. We might fence. And the kitchen is not clean. <laughs> I'll remedy that. There's the island trailer unloading uh, with our batteries on it, we hope. Four batteries and a starting battery. How heavy are they? Uh, pretty heavy. I mean, I can lift it in terms of the manoeuvring. But you don't want to be walking around with them, that's for sure. Because they are ridiculously heavy to carry. Nice man's going to put them on the jetty for us. Four batteries, just now getting a safely on board. Salt, salt water off them from the ride here. Get them dried. Out the work. How's your back? Yeah, pretty good. It's lifting carefully. Our bedroom with no bedding. This is our old battery setup for 150 amp hour batteries, and we're replacing it for four to 10 amp hour batteries. Sixty kilos, dead weight. Our original problem was we were losing voltage in our house batteries. So our house batteries provide our power for everything except starting the motors. Um, and when the voltage gets below about 12 volts, the fridges stop working, which is a problem. So given the fact that we're still only 500 kilometers from Australia on this island, which is owned by Australia, uh, we thought we'd take the opportunity of replacing the house batteries before they totally die because our fridge was not working all the time. So with that in mind, we've now pulled out the old batteries. This is underneath the um, our berth, so this is where we sleep. This is our queen size bed. Under this is all the electronic stuff. We've pulled out the old batteries. We've got the new ones here and now I'm going to put them in, wire them up and then basically build a battery box around it. Uh, including chocks and some security and stuff like that to make sure it doesn't move. Okay, we're done. We have installed our new four batteries. Uh, so we've now got 840 amp hours of batteries. Uh, we've installed our new starter motor battery. And you can hear the engine going because in addition to solar, we've got the engines going to really uh, give it a really good initial first charge. So today is our last full day on Lord Howe Island and this is our sunrise. It's still blowing pretty hard though, it's blowing sort of 15 to 20 knots which makes it pretty uncomfortable at high tide and it's been raining still almost every day for most of the day. But today, at the moment, it's not raining. And um, we might be able to get the uh, last of our jobs done. 
pre provisioning time at the top shop. Stop one First day. stop of the day of our third day of provisioning. So, meat, we've got some veggies, some dairy uh, off to our next shop. Stop number two, Joy's shop. Not a lot of joy at Joy's shop, but big shop. So we have marine ply, two shops worth of provisioning, and a boat out there. Second last trip with our provisioning, we've got our timber, most of our groceries. So we'll go to the nursery tomorrow and that will be it. Where, where, where's your wife go on the boat, Jamie? She goes on top somewhere. She goes on top. Somehow without crushing the eggs or the chips. Probably neither. Uh, okay. Here you go. Nothing to hold on to, baby. She'll be right. It's a lot calmer now than it was earlier. She'll be right. She'll be right. Are they the famous Australian last words? Yep. She'll be right. She'll be right. Denise, you've just run Predict Wind. And how's it look? Good. I think it was pretty much south, south easterlies all the way from somewhere between 15 to 20 knots. So it should have a nice straight run. Excellent. And average speed, do you think? Seven. Seven. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. And the swells from the southeast as well. And that'll be about two to three metres. Okay. Lily up. Lily's up, secure, plugs have, out. Have you put the extra rope on her? Yep. And the rubbing thing so she yep. doesn't rub? Yep. Yep, and then the life rails are all up and secured. Yes, all done. And the main halyard is attached to the sail. It is, yep. Frame sail. ready to go. Sail bags open. Sail bags open. And double check the safety line. Yep, all good, ready for this evening. I got all the harnesses out. Yep, saw that. The GPS is charged, the backup one. Backup one, we've got the batteries charging now uh, on the backup GPS. Yep, and yep. you're happy with the dive tanks and the compressors and all the extra fuel. Nicely secured, yep. yep. All the hatches are closed? All the hatches are closed, sided and touched each one. Alright, all should be good to go. 20 minutes. Lord Howe Island Police, Lord Howard Island Police. This is sailing vessel Look Amu, Look Amu, over. Uh, just advising you that we have cleared the lagoon and we are heading north to Elizabeth and Middleton Reef. Over. Uh, Elizabeth Middleton. Uh, that's correct. We're thinking two to three days at Elizabeth and Middleton and then uh, on to Norfolk after that. Over. Major Armour Smart on that Royal Agency. Have a safe trip. We'll catch you next trip time. Thank you and thanks so much. We've had a wonderful stay. Over. It was a strange feeling sailing away from Lord Howe Island. It was a bit like in the film Castaway when Chuck sails away from his island. We're doing seven knots, very comfortably, in a broad reach. Very nice. We have 92 nautical miles to go. So I think at this stage we'll be there at about 6 a.m. Maybe 7 because we have to tack now. We can't go straight there. It's too downwind. It's too and, perfect. And just using the uh, main sail? No head sail.
I'm gonna call it a mega pod. It was just awesome, man. And stayed for ages, 10, 15 yeah. minutes. And they were huge. It was just unbelievable, wasn't it? On the next adventure with Liverpool, you, we sail to Elizabeth Reef, we dive and have friends for dinner in the middle of nowhere, and I head up the mast again. And I think it's naked. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Here's your